I want to deal with a topic entitled Walk and Live in the Spirit. Walk and Live in the Spirit. Galatians 5.25 states the following. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Man, does that sound spooky. All right. What does it mean to live in the Spirit? What does it mean to walk in the Spirit? All right. Let me explain what this means. To live in the Spirit means that I have made a choice to allow the Holy Spirit to control my life. Now, even that is a major battle. You know, Paul makes a statement in Romans. He says, the things I do want to do, I don't do. The things I don't do, uh, don't want to do, I do. And he carries on like this. And he says, listen, there's a struggle between my flesh, that is just who I am in the natural, and the Spirit of God, trying to lead me, change me, and guide me. Now, we as Christians are expected to start living in the Spirit. What does that mean? It does not mean you're going to trance and some spooky thing. It simply means this, that I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to work in my life, in my daily walk. And say, Holy Spirit, come and lead me, come and guide me, come and teach me. Now, here comes the challenge. When we say that, do you honestly practice it every day? You see, we say that we live in the Spirit of God. In other words, that the Holy Spirit is totally in control of our lives. Or are we just saying, Holy Spirit, you take control when we need you. I need finance in my life. Holy Spirit, help me get finance. I need peace in my life. Holy Spirit, help me get peace. All right, I need a miracle. Holy Spirit, you come and perform the miracle. Now, these are real practical issues. But the issue is this. Where are you with your walk with the Holy Spirit? Are you actually at the place where you say, Holy Spirit, lead me. Holy Spirit, guide me. Holy Spirit, show me. See, these are really important issues. And so we even have to ask these and challenge ourselves into some of these things. Are you prepared to allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life? Are you prepared to allow the Holy Spirit to come and do what He needs to do? Are you prepared on your daily walk? See, I need to learn how to allow the Holy Spirit to walk and work through me. In other words, when I walk, He is actually leading me. He's directing me. Now, when I say that, it's not like it's a verbal thing. And it's not like it is something that is always conscious. That I'm conscious of in every minute. But when I go somewhere, I just don't have peace. I don't feel comfortable and I change my direction. Or I change what I'm doing. Or I get out of the place where I find myself. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a situation where I feel uncomfortable and I leave. And something happens just as I leave. But you see, we need to practice this. We need to train ourselves. Because the Holy Spirit says, uh, is there to help us, to guide us. But we don't want to be guided. No, we're good at South Africans. We're going to do it our own way. And then when we get clapped and things go wrong and that, then we go, oh God, please help. I believe here I help net. I mean, we hear these things over and over out of our Christian mouths. But we never listened at the beginning. And so today I want to challenge us. This morning when we come around the altar, let us ask God to help us to genuinely stay submitted to Him. To genuinely be led by Him. And say, God, not only do you want to live in the Spirit, in other words, that the Holy Spirit is permanently in control of my life, but I also want to be led, and then when I walk in the Spirit, wherever I go, I'm being led by the Spirit of God. When we do this, God is going to honor us. God is going to bless us. So let's pray. Father, we come before you today. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. Lord, I ask you, first of all, to forgive us of any ungodly deed or action or any motive, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you'll wash us white as snow. But, Lord, I thank you that you are going to move by your Spirit in a mighty way. And, Lord, that there's going to be a supernatural flow of your Spirit in our lives. Lord, that we are not going to settle for second best. But Lord, that we are going to see the power and the glory of God move in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, 
Lord, that we will submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit once again. And Lord, I thank you that not only will we live, but we will walk in the Spirit of God and under the unction of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, I release the dynamous power of God from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I thank you, Lord, that I am healed and I walk in divine health. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I'm just so excited to be with you. I tell you what, it's a glorious, glorious day. I have hours before I'm at the fire conference. I can't wait to kick start tonight. I tell you what, we are ready, Pastor Les and myself are geared up, and we are going to have an absolute ball. Yeah, man, if you don't get blessed, it's okay. I will be blessed. I'm going to walk out there full of the anointing and knowing that God loves me. All right, so I want to remind you, I'm climbing on a plane straight after this communion, and I'm off to Pretoria, but I want to say this. Guys, please pray for us over this weekend, that God will just help me with my energy and my strength, and me that we're going to just have a wonderful time together. And if you're anywhere in the Pretoria area, come and visit us, even if it's one session. Come and get under the anointing and see God move in Jesus' name. All right. Now, I want to just let you know that tonight is our fellowship uh, training. All right. So 7 o'clock tonight is fellowship training. 7.30 is the facilitator's training. So please, we are going to be cancelling that facilitator's training tonight. All right, it's normally on tonight. We are cancelling it because of the fire conference. The leaders are all there. But remember this, next Thursday night, it is back on. Okay, so please get ready for the facilitator's training. But the cell teaching is going to be on tonight. And then I want to just say this. I want to just make this announcement. I was actually asked uh, not to broadcast too broadly, but hey, I need to. I want to just say, if you want to come with us to the Israel tours, they are filling up very fast. In fact, one of the tours, I think we've only got seven spots left on, left on the whole tour. And I only announced it yesterday. So please, if you are considering coming, please get in as fast as possible and as soon as possible. Now, I have tried and uh, our, our agents have tried to see even on the first tour, to see if we can include Petra on the first tour. Unfortunately, it's impossible. All right, we already had issues. I try to make one tour just eight days to make it shorter and less expensive. All right, and so we've had to make one 10 days, one 11 days. Okay, but because of where we are going, the cost is changing, you know, between the two tours. Now, I want to say this. If you would like to go to Israel with us, Please register as soon as possible. Otherwise, you are going to be disappointed. I'm not going to do another trip to Israel next year. So please, last year there was a waiting list and we ended up doing another one in May. So we had three. But in May next year, I'm going to Turkey. Okay, to the seven churches of the book of Revelation. So I am definitely not going to do a third trip to Israel. So I'm asking you nicely, if you would like to go with us to Israel in 2024, please book your spot as soon as possible so that you don't get disappointed, okay? So I want to just let you know that I think one of the trips, I think we've only got seven spots left, okay? So they're filling up very quickly. So I want you please just to get yourself ready for that and be aware of it, okay? And so let's believe God that those that come, that their lives are radically, radically, radically changed so that they can influence and help those around them. Amen. All right. So my big thing is this. Fire conference. Please pray for us to stand in the gap. All right. I'll be broadcasting directly from uh, from Pretoria. So uh, so every um, from tomorrow, you'll see that I'll be in the area. Okay. It'll be a different venue. I cannot take my chair with me. And uh, I want to just say that uh, I'm really enjoying this uh, this chair that we've got. Okay, this is the the matching color to the original couch, and uh, I just thought I'd make it a little bit smaller and easier. And so I want to just say it's been an awesome, awesome season. And now it's time for a season of praying and getting ready for the elections. Amen. All right. So let's pray. 
And we are going to trust God for some awesome things in our nation. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, I thank you for what you are doing. And Lord, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural for each one of us in Jesus' name. And Lord, that you are going to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. Father, I pray right now that you are going to help us in our businesses. I pray for each and every business in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that the businesses are blessed. Businesses are prosperous. Father, I thank you that as we restrict the evil one, Lord, that the businesses operate with divine um, connections and supernatural deals. Father, I thank you for your blessing to flow over each and every business in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to do something amazing for each and every believer as we obey you and submit to you. Lord, I thank you that you are going to just flow by your spirit in our lives. Lord, I pray right now that we are not going to be the same again. And Lord, that every step that we take, we will be obedient to your spirit. And Father, right now, I pray for our nation. Lord, I pray for the economy of South Africa, and I thank you, God, that it will be blessed. And Lord, we call forth every single prophetic word over this nation. We bring life and destiny and purpose into it in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to remind you, if you have any prayer requests, please send it to believers at fathersart.co.za and we will take care of it and make sure it gets to the people. The other thing I want to just say that if you want to come to the Israel trip and you're not sure on how to get the documentation, just email us at believers at Father's Art. All right, that is the one email everybody must know. If you have any question about anything, Believers at Father's Heart is the place to send it, okay? All right, let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might. I want you to go out with valor. And I want you to go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. Go and keep those atmospheres open. And remember this. God loves you. We love you. And go and do what God called you to do. In Jesus' mighty name.